Hey, what are you listening to? It's Monday. I'm listening to my Discover Weekly playlist on Spotify. What is it? For those of you who live under a soundproof rock, let me introduce you to my virtual best friend, Spotify. Personally, I'm a huge fan of Spotify and particularly Discover Weekly. It knows my song choice better than any other person in my entire life. And the best part is, it gets it right every week, suggesting the tracks that I probably would have never found out myself. Now this Monday, just like every Monday before it and every Monday that will come after this, over 100 million Spotify users found and will find a fresh new playlist waiting for them called Discover Weekly. A mixtape of over 30 songs that were never listened to before but you will probably love. And it's pretty much magic. So how is Spotify able to do all this? Data is the magic ingredient for the success of Spotify. Known for its user experience and music recommendations, Spotify uses artificial intelligence, big data and machine learning to upgrade and customize your experience. Now coming to the secret ingredient and its details. Data. Tens of millions of people listen to music every minute of the day, like you and me. Your Spotify collects all your data, like your preferences, which keywords you use to search songs, your playlist, the location where you listen to the songs, does the song type change from place to place, and even the sort of device you're listening to. Is it your laptop, your phone, or your tab? Everything is recorded. This information is then used to train algorithms that throw up relevant insights from content on the platform, online conversations about music and artists and from customer data which it uses to enhance the user's experience. More about the process in a bit. The recommendation system has worked wonders for Spotify. Not only does it keep users returning, but it also enables greater exposure for artists and users who may not search for it organically. Think of it like this. Spotify may be a single platform with around 400 million different users, but it may be more accurate to say that there are 400 million versions of Spotify each filled with different home pages, playlists, like songs and recommendations. With a store of over 70 million tracks to thumb through, how do machine learning models go about making these decisions for you day after day and week after week? Now to discuss just that, Oscar Style, VP of Personalization at Spotify, gave a talk at Transform X, which is a summit for leaders in ML and AI. And it would take a person 1,475 years to go through all of those 200 petabytes of, of content. Apart from accumulating data, the ML models go beyond and include factors such as what time of day is it? Is it the playlist for traveling, working or chilling? Are you on your mobile or desktop? The recommendation model tries to predict how satisfied users are with their current experience and attempts to nudge them towards consuming more fulfilling content in their audio diet to make them happier with their service. It's like personal growth with music. Like suggesting a new song to help you focus or maybe a new song in a different language predicting what a user will want 10 minutes from now, a day from now, a week from now means creating tons of simulations and running the reinforcement learning model against those simulations to make it smarter like a computer playing chess against itself to get better. Finally, coming to the actual process. Spotify uses a combination of three models to generate the Discover Weekly model that, in my opinion, is a smart move. There is very little chance that the recommendation model will fail. Let's look at them in brief. Collaborating filtering involves comparing a user's behavior and trends with those of others. Let's say when you and the guy walking down the street have six favorite artists. Five of them happen to be the same. So the algorithm will play Uno reverse and suggest each other's sixth artist to both of you. Now imagine this happening on a large scale between 400 million users. Crazy, right? Now the second model is natural language processing. Spotify's AI scans the web, blog posts, and the news articles 
on the internet. It scraps what people are saying about certain artists or songs and the language used. It further categorizes them to be used in the recommendation model. And lastly, assuming if a song you might like is missed by the first two models, the audio model will definitely catch its wavelength. Let me explain. Audio models are used to analyze data from raw audio tracks and categorize songs accordingly. For instance, if a new artist releases a new song on the platform, NLP models might not pick it up if online social media coverage is low. Using the song data will help recommend the song accordingly to your taste. To have accurate results from audio models, Spotify also uses convolutional neural networks which uses the same tech as facial recognition. Spotify uses these models on audio data instead of pixels. Simply put, each song is converted into a raw audio file as a waveform. These waveforms are then processed by the CNN are put into categories like beats per minute, loudness, major, minor key and so on. Spotify then tries to match similar songs that have same parameters as the song you like listening to. So this is how your Discover Weekly pops up on your app every Monday morning. Now I'm off to exploring new genres. Happy listening.